<laughs> Oops, let's load it. Okay, we're on. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I, Somnium Files. Um, let's see. We gotta investigate the scene of the crime. Where Denju was killed. Okay, so table. A table! I can't find any clues on it. Menu. The store's menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 18 bucks 1800? for pasta? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? No, that's super expensive. The store's menu. Okay, that was it. Um, chair. A chair. Come on, trident. Trident. There, wooden barrel? A barrel made of wood. Nothing special about it. No, I didn't I didn't want that. I want the trident. Ugh! Why couldn't you make a bigger hitbox for the trident prongs? Ugh. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. Harpoon? I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident. Also, and I'm gonna be eating dinner, so sorry. I've been summoned by the jelly gods. Hey, that's Alex. How you doing? Long time no see. Hope you've been well. <laughs> a trident. Doesn't look like it has anything to do with the case. Uh, a box? I looked inside the wooden box. There's nothing in there. An empty wooden box. Okay. Yeah, I need to investigate every single item as much as possible because yesterday I found out I could get trophies from them, I guess, if I investigate some weird random stuff long enough. So... It's been so long, I've been better than well. That's awesome! That's great! Yay! Sorry, I'm gonna be finishing eating my dinner of sweet potatoes because I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oil drum. This oil drum must be some kind of interior decor. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. That's a lot. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. That's a lot. Let me check inside. X-ray. Why is this one special? What's in here? There's a watch! What? There's something inside. Why is it? Not judging a man, sweet potatoes for the win. Heck yeah! I even love sweet potato fries. They're the best. This is the Stop oil to the pit drum. Whoops. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Why is it showing the policeman in front of a wall of girls? This is... How did his watch get in there? My mom makes sweet potatoes and brown sugar and- Oh, that sounds really good, dude. No doubt about it. Mmm, sweet potatoes and brown sugar. <sighs> Oil drum. Is there anything left to x-ray? Denja's wristwatch was inside the oil drum. Okay. That's just regular look. It has a 200 liter capacity and weighs 44 pounds empty. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid. Could it be that his body was shoved in the oil drum first and then that's how they transported it over here? Because there's no other oil drums in this cafe. It's like liquid sugar over potatoes that makes it sweeter than sweet and you can can't just have just one. No, 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 you need a whole pan. Is it like... Is it savory or is it sweet? Like, is it like dried candied potatoes? Or is it more like fries? As if it's candied sweet potatoes. That sounds amazing. I need water. Ooh. Candied? Oh, that sounds so great! 
counter. The corpse strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines... And you have it with some ham and... Oh, dude, that sounds no amazing. That Maybe for Thanksgiving. In the area, nor on the corpse itself. That sounds really good. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Bum, bum, ba -da. Hmm. And that's why he was carried over in the oil been drum. It considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. That's all he weighed? He was I a can thin man. I person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Oh, she's done talking. I thought she was going to continue talking. Whoops. Okay. Mmm. Counter Anna, again. Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Yes, wolves is your sugar. That's why I love it. I don't know if you like sweets as much as I do. I love sweets. Mmm. Oh, why is he showing us again? Neck. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Petechia? Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The this specific is cause of death is cerebral circulation gruesome. failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Time of death. Yesterday, around 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Hmm. Neck again. Venju's approximate time of death was yesterday, Saturday, around 8 p.m. He was strangled by a cloth or something similar from behind. Grace! The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. Oh boy, the then this is stuff where y'all make my mom tell me how she makes it far and I can send what she does in Discord. <laughs> it can be assumed oh snap, that, that would be awesome. Were heavily impaired uh, death. I really should make a Discord server or something. Whoops, I missed that log. I need to read it. Um, presence of benzo benzodiazepine. It's a common sedative. Um, okay, so they drugged him and then they um, and then they strangled him. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. Left eye. The left eye has been pulled this out. Case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Left eye. Benju and Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. Uh, right eye. The right eye is still there. Um, can I examine this hook? That's in his mouth? <laughs> Guess not. Body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course or I'll just noticed, message you, you show me how. First to discover Renju's corpse. Um, do you have Twitter or Instagram? Because then you could just direct message me. The upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. They were close. Body again. Renju's corpse was found hanging from the ceiling beam. Over the counter. There's nothing else to examine. Counter. Hook. Renju weighed about 160 pounds, and he was definitely murdered somewhere else than carried here. He was carried with the oil drum, duh. Kitchen door, a doorway to the kitchen. Lifesaver. The walls are decorated with life preservers, but they didn't preserve Renju's life. Ha 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 ha. Joke. The store is signboard. It says Sunfish Pocket. Mm. All you gotta know is that you need to, like, Butter, brown sugar, and have a sweet tooth. And yeah, I got Twitter. Just made it because of a thing that I actually want to talk about. <clears throat> cool, cool. Um, yeah, my Twitter is just Jelly Toast Plays. I mean, you could just DM me there. I don't. I think I should accept DMs from everyone. I don't think we have to be following each other. But yeah. Uh, I love butter. I use it a lot when I make kimchi fried rice. 
uh brown sugar sh any kind of sugar is good uh sweet tooth i freaking live on chocolate every day and it's not good for me it makes my body sore but i can't stop i eat chocolate every day <laughs> you can see the kitchen back here nothing looks suspicious mm. let's see chair don't want to examine like the things close to me oh wait pictures there are pictures of girls on display Probably the girls that are working here. What are you staring at? Creeper. I agree. I'm just examining. Investigating. Pictures of maids on display. Uh, chair, table, wooden barrel. Policeman. What's the status? <clears throat> Nothing special. Policeman. The officer is guarding the doorway. Uh, policeman. The officer is guarding the doorway. Okay, boring. Uh, window? The place is up on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. Camera. Camera. Co ah! Come on. Surveillance Lila, camera. Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. Hey, story time. <laughs> All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. Damn it. What about backups? There are there no are backups. None. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Hmm. So there's no footage of the incident. Mm, anything? Ooh, anchor. A big anchor. Cool. Ooh, uh, what is this? Ah, I hate cash register. A register near the doorway. That's it. Psh, okay, uh, what's happened with Mizuki? Um, notice anything strange? Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Okay. Um, then let me examine these first. Beer keg. Benji's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Three beer kegs on the floor, each can hold 20 liters and weigh 55 pounds of filled with water. Uh, evidence marker. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's put up to track evidence at the scene. Mm. Inspector! What's your name? What? Oh, it's the same dude from me. earlier! You don't my know my name? name? is Kagami. Kagami. What's your name? It's Kagami. Kagami. Kagami this. What's your name? Kagami. Kagami. What's your name? I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I, of course, remembered his name. No, what's your name? His name is engraved in my mind. What's your name? His name is... What's your name? Hey you, what's your name? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Seriously? It's Kagami! Stop bugging him, it's rude! Excuse you, my best friend, uh, Kagami and I are having a Kagami? conversation. Kagami? Yeah, don't spoil our fun! <laughs> what? I got a trophy for that?! What the heck?! For a conversation?! Wow. Oh, whoa. Story time. So I made a YouTube recently, The Artiste, and one of my videos got moderately big in the Steven Universe community, reaching, THAT'S A LOT OF VIEWS! And I animated one of the characters singing a song that the voice actor actually sang in the musical, so you know, scrolling through the comments one day and someone told me that the person sang the song reposted on Twitter and I screamed louder than I should have because I was shocked. That's awesome! Which, um, which character was it? Uh... Because, yeah, they did definitely do- Blah! They definitely did use actors and actresses who did like sing in Broadway musicals and just in theater because um yeah the creator Rebecca Sugar wanted people who could actually sing Spinell who is Sour Styles Spinell 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 oh from the movie yeah her voice was great Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. 
But that's awesome! Congrats! Good job! That's so exciting! For you! She was so talented? Heck yeah! Mm, any leads? No, we didn't find anything today. Are you getting enough rust? Kagami? Kagami? No, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, alright? Get some rest, my best friend Kagami. Another inspector. I hope he finds some clues. The inspector is investigating something. Ah, uh, I wanted more dialogue. Mm. Light! It's light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. You never know. Uh, I want these jellyfish lights. I think jellyfish are cool. Hook? And hook car mandor. <laughs> It's the first result you find when you look up Spinal Animatic on YouTube. I'm gonna look that up now. Mmm! -hmm. It is! I have nothing but the heart. <laughs> That's really cute. I'm gonna have to take a look at it after the stream's over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeet! <laughs> Music gear. Um, do you notice anything strange now? Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Notice anything strange? <laughs> Jeez, you're pushy. <laughs> pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. You Besides, like me? Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? What were you gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. But I'm worrying about it. Um, do you remember what you saw last night? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Oh. You can leave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? I think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. <laughs> but this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. Okay. I shouldn't talk hey. when I suck the whole supercell okay. of my mouth. Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. No. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? I investigated, okay? I don't know what else to investigate. My feet? Still thinking of those damn sweet potatoes. <laughs> hey Maka, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Oh, you did get the founder badge. It says first. I wonder if it says first because you are my first or because you're part of the first 10 people to sub. That's cool. More badges for you. I haven't had them in like a month that I created them now. I think it's time for more candied sweet potatoes, dude. Now is the time. Get them sweet potatoes. What is taters, precious? Mizuki acts tough. But deep inside. Okay, is this everything? There's gotta be something else I can do because map isn't coming up. So, what else am I supposed to see? Oil drum? Nope. Nope, I don't want that. No, oil drum. X-ray. Nothing else to see here. But what happened with his watch? Three beer kegs on the floor each can hold 20 liters and weigh 55 pounds when filled with water. Um, something. Doom. Maybe there was something else I didn't see here? No? Exit's blinking, so that means I examined everything here. 
Mm. What am I missing? Got that trident. Oh, maybe ceiling beam? No, I can't do anything for our ceiling. Mm. Renju weighed about 160 pounds, and he was definitely murdered somewhere else and then carried here. Yeah, with the oil drum! I had a 200 liter capacity and weighed 44 pounds empty. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid. Do I need to look at the lid? No. Mm. Pretty sure it's the same for the first 10 subs. Ah, okay. Oh, but I kind of miss seeing the toast badge. Can you have all three of them up? Your Twitch Prime badge, your first badge, and the toast badge? Doorway. This club is located on the second floor of the building. We used the elevator to get here. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Not sure? Oh, okay. Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30pm until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55pm. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. 310 pounds. So the oil analysis. drum is 44 pounds by itself. Suzuki, plus ready to leave? Renju's body, what? which is about 160. Which mean? is about like 204. There are still people I want to talk to. And there were two oil drums. So hmm. Now I can disable the founder badge. Ah, okay. There's people you want to talk to. Who? Um, any places you can think of that I don't know about? Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? No. Daddy used to go to a place called Marble a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Uh, do you want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemniscate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. Whoa. So she might know something. I'll call her. Again, why does it go to that picture of the maids? Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Uh, Mizuki, do you want to talk to Ota? Yeah. Ota is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. He's a buffoon. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Then let's go. Let's head out. Lemna Skate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Map. Uh. Now founder badge is disabled. Yay! It's back to the toasts. It's so cute. Okay. Should I go to Masashita Diner, Lemnuske, or Golden Yokocho? Well, let's go in order. Masashita Diner. Let's get Ota over with because I don't want to see his stupid face. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh. Hello, welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Otis' friend? Yep. Mizuki. And you? Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Counter! The counter. Disposable chopsticks. 
salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says fermented Mayumi juice. Mayumi. None of us can figure out what that juice is. Soy sauce, dude. There's a menu on the table. Kuroda Kazuaki's Shin Meat Pickled in Miso. What is wrong with this restaurant? There's a menu on the table. It's full of weird stuff. Swinging door. A swinging door! A swinging door. A swinging door. <laughs> Didn't I make that joke last time? A swinging door. Photo. A family photo. A stool. A table. A round chair. It looks like a chocolate button with legs. It looks like a chair. <laughs> it has a chocolate button with legs. Mm. Bucket. A bucket. Man, I really want to put that bucket on your head and smack it with a mop handle. Why? Why? A bucket. It's a mop. Uh, beer cases. Beer cases. Menus written on the wall on Tanzaka paper. Uh, it's the doorway to the store. A window. A clock. It's a clock. Off those hands. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You're funny. The gears have stopped turning. Not unlike Miami. Whoops! I didn't mean to touch. Talk to that again. Uh, calendar. It's November, but that calendar says January. Looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. An old calendar on the wall. Um, fortune. It says, good luck. Does it really? Lucky cat. Yesterday, Iba was saying that if you mount in front of a get lucky cat, you'll have a good fortune. I wonder if that's true. There's a lucky cat. Lucky cat. Lucky cat. What are they hitting you? A small sitting cushion. A what is the difference between a cushion and you, Date? I'm a person. I don't know. What? Nothing. You're both soft and get thrown around. Ha! That wasn't bad. I'm getting better with the jokes. Ha! We're both thrown around. A beer ad on hey, the wall. Hey, Date, why do beer ads always have girls in bikinis in them? Because they make you thirsty. <laughs> why? I'll tell you when you're older. Uh, oh no, I dropped sweet potato. Oh shoot. I don't want bugs to get in my room. Beer ad on the wall. A low table. A high table. Mm, slippers? No, slippers are nothing. Mm, refrigerator. Looks like a refrigerator. That does not look like a refrigerator. Oh, a cordless phone. Ring, 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 ring. Well, the phone's ringing. Are you gonna pick it up? No, it isn't. <laughs> why? Why do you say that? I can see the kitchen area past the counter. Mm. Kitchen, kitchen, counter. Okay, let's talk with the lady. Mmm. Hey, you're looking gorgeous today. Oh, stop, you charmer. But you're not getting a discount out of me. I don't think I want your food. I knew you were a pedo, Date, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. I'm not a pedo! I'm neither of those things. Uh, where's your husband? I completely forgot. I, I think her husband is often. dead. But he'll come back soon. He always does, runs off, then comes back. I'm beginning to have doubts about the management of this Yeah, I think he's not here. Hey, well. Webb, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Any more left eyes missing? No. We just examined the maid cafe that the dad was dead at. And now we're looking for um, Ota, because we need to talk to him. Any recommendations? Oh, everything here is delicious. No. But my personal favorite is our omelet rice. Omelet rice. Did you want to eat here? No, I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. 
uh, is Ota here? He went out early this morning. I don't know where. I see. I took my business card out of my pocket and handed it to Mayumi. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Maybe Mayumi is the killer. Yeah, let's go. Bum, bum, bum. Mizuki, have you been here before? Yeah, I am friends with Oda. Doesn't mean you have I've to come here. been here a few times. Mizuki is standing next to me. Mayumi is standing on the other side of the counter. <laughs> okay, uh, let the skate. Oh, I hit my mic. <coughs> oh. I got flu shot today, and I think I'm already feeling symptoms. Oh, curse my weakened immune system. Freaking sucks. Whenever I get sick now, it lasts for such a long time. Oh, what? Hey there, handsome. Oh, what? Excuse You're me? such a dud. I cannot even right now oh no I'm oh look at how back. low her neckline is oh my gosh mizuki do you know this guy yeah can you introduce me please she is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist wow this lady is on, something else not so bad could you contain yourself for five minutes date Wow, I know why. Blah. We're such a desk. Uh, I don't want to talk with the receptionist yet. I want to examine a pot of Dante, plants. Look, a cricket. Gross. That's cute. Iba has a strange fascination with insects. Pot of plants. There's an abstract painting displayed on the wall. This painting is called Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons. What? <laughs> which part is supposed to be a dish and which part is supposed to be a demon? What? There's an incomprehensible abstract painting displayed on the wall. Uh, window. A large window. Logo. The company's logo. Lemniscate. It means something, but I don't know what. Oh, this is Dark Zoom Kalimas! Who? Apparently, this is Dark Zone Kalimas. A uh, high stool. That's a high stool. Why are you always thinking about high school? <laughs> I said stool. <laughs> Oops. High table. A high table. High stools are placed around the table. <laughs> a door. There's probably an office back there. A vending machine full of drinks! Lots of magazines at that rack. Featured, how to draw cute anime girls. I think I'll give that a look. <clears throat> Sofa! <laughs> what? Captain, enemy vessel, three clicks. I believe you are thinking of Sonar. Ha ha ha. So many word puns in this game. Uh, blank monitor. It's a monitor, nothing's on it. Plants, plants, window. Okay, let's talk with the receptionist lady. Uh, look, there's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Um, let's see. Things have been pretty serious around here lately. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? That's like, the odds of hitting the lotto. What? But it was kind of lucky, in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know? Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this Wow, I can't believe this lady. Um... What's going to happen to the office? No, oh, haven't heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. 
just when I got a job, too. Man, what am I gonna do if this place closes up? So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Smart ones. Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? Well, I... I... We could go out sometime. Oh, he's got that creepy grin wow, on his you, face. You disgust me. You disgust me. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. Uh, did you happen to see Ota here? Ota? No, Ota. I haven't seen him today. Her voice is so annoying. It is. The receptionist knows Ota too? Wait a minute. I'm gonna hear her voice in Japanese. And then I'll switch back to English. Otaku that has social skills? He didn't have social skills when he met me. He was so rude. Uh -huh. No, I want to hear her voice! I took out my business card and handed it over to the receptionist. あ、くよされないことを祈るばかりだ。うん。はい、ビシンアイリス。イリスってアセトンちゃんのことだよな。なったら、地下のスタジオでウェブラジオの収録中だよ。お、that's Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. Cause she don't got no service. Right away, I can try contacting her. Don't let plays. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. Uh, no, it can't. For We're sure. investigating a. M what? For sure. As in. For I sure. I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. <laughs> There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. I, there's a receptionist sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. <laughs> breasts. <laughs> no! There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk! <laughs> no! No, I didn't get a trophy! I feel like a creep now. I kept talking to her because I thought I might get another trophy to pop out. Damn it. Uh, do you know this receptionist, Mizuki? I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like, best friends. <laughs> mm. We hang out, we party. We do not party. Hey, hey! Wow. Mizuki is 12 years old. Who hired this woman? The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Oh, Denju. Renju. Huge breath. Stop talking to her. I wanted to see if there's a trophy that would pop up. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? Um. Mizuki is standing next to me. Uh, wait. I want to see. Let's see. File. Persons. <laughs> Receptionist. I want to see how if she has a name. Receptionist. Ditsuko Enshu. Age 36. She's six years older than me. Hmm. I mean, older than that there. Profession. Lemna Skates Receptionist likes yellow spotted river turtles. What? Right? <laughs> Dislikes men that act like ballers but are really scrubs. <laughs> Hobbies, gambling, partying, skills, anti-aging techniques. Overview, she is London Skate's receptionist. She likes men that are real bros and can vibe with them from the jump. Oh gosh. Lately, her shoulders have been stiffening up on her though. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, Inspector got updated! Araya Kagami! He's my age! Inspector, an officer working for the CSI unit of the MPD, likes ear picks, dandelions, afros. Kesaran Pasaran? Kesaran Pasaran? What's that? Dislikes people who don't remember his name. 
<laughs> Cilantro, ginkgo. <gasps> I love ginkgo. We can't be friends, dude. Gosh, ginkgo are my favorite trees. Uh, hobbies, train surfing, extreme ironing. Train surfing's pretty fun. Just going on trains wherever. That's fun. Skills, pretending to be dead. Um... Okay. Overview. An expert inspector with remarkable skills. He was assigned to the new Cyclops serial killings. It's actually really cute when he takes off his mask and he's single. Looking at those droopy eyes, is he really that cute though? Meh. Okay, I'll just, I just want to make sure that Date is dirty. Yeah, Date's dirty. Okay, let's bounce. Golden Yokocho. And yet again, my eyes are itching. Ugh. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Is this it? Yeah. Ma Ma Budu? Snack know about marble? This place? Yeah. This is where I met Renju for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That Great. is only a partial truth. Shut up. That deluxe getting huh? wasted! Let's head inside. Basically, he's like, why'd you tell me to shut up? I didn't say anything. Uh, what is that painting on the wall? Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. Mama! Just kill the man. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the capital... A dead body was found! Toronto, ...district Tokyo. A traffic collision occurred. Involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Bottles on counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count them. Nine. Nine bottles. There are nine bottles on the counter. Just kidding. There's 18. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. Damn it, I can't talk to it anymore. Counter. The bar counter. Wait, what's this thing? Okay, I guess they don't want me to... It's a menu. It has writing on the back. Uh, posta. There's a poster on the wall. The talented Mr. Dickley. Hmm? I wonder what that is. There's a poster on the wall. <clears throat> Oh, the flyer's different. A flyer. Okay, flyer here is spelled F-L-I-E-R. When I click on it, flyer, F-L-Y-E-R. Inconsistencies. Where's the QC ear? Sofa. A sofa. What is this? A picture on the wall. It's a little odd. A little. The specials are written on the chalkboard. Flippers and tomato soup. What? The specials are written on the chalkboard. Refrigerator! Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Why? If you're not using it, you should throw it out before it molds. There's music playing over the radio. <coughs> Shells. Yeah, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. Can I bet you, just drive? you could drive. Indeed, I can. But I refuse. Haha, <laughs> I hate driving Why? too. Nothing good comes of you being drunk. There are bottles of alcohol on the shelf. TV. There's a TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. <laughs> they what watch? was so good about it? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <clears throat> What else can I examine? Table. There's a table in front of the sofa. Blackboard. No, I didn't want to talk to the blackboard again. 
Hanger, 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 hanger. Hanger! Hanger, please! I hate how finicky and precise you have to be with the controls. Oh my gosh. Freaking give me a bigger hitbox. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, come on! Ah, there we go, hanger. A hanger on the wall. That's all it was. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Why do you make everything interactable if you're not gonna have good dialogue coming out of it? A stool! He's a key. Um. Are you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. No, I'm not going home. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Misuki, I'm only trying to help you. Why are you being so spiky to me? Are you having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Nope. Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't that's see all why they that's know. Business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. Well, you... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? <laughs> no, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> about Renju. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Ha ha ha. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Hmm. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemniscate, and mentally unstable. And now he's dead. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. Yeah, because if he at least lived with his daughter, then he would have more reasons to go home and spend time with so. her. But since Date was watching her, it's like, well, I can focus on running my business and whatnot. Oh well, it's been a long time did since what? we did this. Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. Oh my gosh, is that for real? The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Uh, Mizuki, we should at least have one meal together. I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. <laughs> really, no. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Oh my gosh. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Because you're Why just gonna die and leave me too. Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. Ha! <laughs> I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion. What a big incident. I think I finally learned oh, what the so panic attack rough. is. Oh shoot, I hope you didn't have one. Also, hey Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Also, I really hope you didn't have a real honey. panic attack. Long time no see. Oh hey, hello, Mama. mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. 
Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. <laughs> I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? <laughs> he didn't have a choice. He was murdered. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? I'm curious about the Japanese Let's voice. Go. Sorry. Well, not file. Really curious about the Japanese voice. If it's more masculine or feminine. <laughs> Whoa, it's super masculine! Okay, uh, now I'll go back to English. <laughs> I was playing a game called Fantasy Zone and Yakuza 0. I had to get 100k points on it. I had 90k points and had no lives left. <laughs> but did you win? Did you manage to beat it? Mama, how's business? Not bad. Oops, I was not. Yeah, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Ooh. Just the one way is fine. Thanks. Was Renju a regular here? I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. That is rude, Doctor. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? <laughs> I'll pass, thanks. Oh, man. All the inner window about Renju. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. <laughs> Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. I okay. must have had some connection to them, too. Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. But Shoko was Mizuki, also involved with gangsters, too. The company too. Shoko was running. Were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Shelves! Gulp. There are bottles of alcohol on the shelf. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. It was a beautiful execution. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. A painting of Saint Sebastian. Apparently it was a gift from Renju. A poster! One flew over to Cox. nest. <laughs> oh my gosh, it sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Wow. There's a flyer on the wall. Can I examine all these things again? I think I can. Yeah, let's just like read it and get it over with. Uh, Mama's polishing a dried bonito fish. It's part of her daily routine. Come to think of it, I have no idea why. I think I'll ask her one day when the time is right. Why are you... Why are you just polishing a bonito fish? What? Why? What? Please be more specific with your feedback, please. Why? I'm not gonna read everything if it's just same boring dialogue over again. Fried slipper with herbs. What? 
What is up with these weird menus? Uh, I think that's all. Okay. Now let's talk with Mizuki. Um, so it's your first time at a place like this. Yeah, I mean, at some fish uh, pocket they served alcohol, but... Oops, of course I managed to beat it. Who do you think you're talking like to? <laughs> then where'd you get the panic attack? Because of the Yakuza no game or something well, in real life? Me along I'm times. back. Did you miss but me? Yes, you did. That was a true question. Good call. <laughs> it was, was lonely without you. When I was old enough to drink, I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. You can go to a bar with me, Mizuki. About Mama. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just oh, promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. I will. Right, this is for Denju. I promise. Uh, are you scared of Mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. Arr. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. That is a huge age That's range. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Um, let's see. Mizuki is curling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by Mama. Mizuki seems to be wary of Mama. Uh, can I talk to Mama again? What else do you remember about Denju? Well... There was the watch incident. Watch? I'm sure you remember that one. I don't. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. And yet that watch was found off him. his body that in the, the oil drum. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. It stopped at 2.32. Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. <gasps> it was an anniversary gift. Not Shoko? Why did I say her name so weird? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. Who is she? But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. Uh, I'm going to the bathroom. No! Mizuki? I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, I guess I have to go to the bathroom either you way. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, it's just... Um... She doesn't want to... She wants to make Keep sure that nothing bad happens to me. Aww. Sure thing. Don't have she doesn't want to lose me there. too. Misuki, I understand. I gave her a nod and a wave and left. Iva, get boss on the line. Got it. Battle boss. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. <gasps> I am leaving without her. Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Why not? Understood. I'll because I'm dealing with gangs now? Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I should tell her that I'm leaving first.
I should tell her where I'm going so she doesn't try to follow me blindly. Oh my gosh. Kumakura office, Sunday, 3.22. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? <laughs> Do you want to die, old man? Only 30. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Who the heck are you? Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A Why cop, is his huh? face so crazy? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? When is Zillia? Zillia Sunday. Also, oh, hey KB, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things MoMA, I want to ask. Museum of Modern Art. What do you Make know about the new Cyclops serial? Yeah, because a crossover. <laughs> Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. I ain't a narc. The chairman's desk. The chairman's phone. There's a telephone on the desk. Uh... What does a guy like the chairman need this for? They'd Everyone needs computer. Oh my gosh. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. There's a PC on top of the desk. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Why are they scary? Scary lanterns. <laughs> what the heck? You don't have to repeat it. Scary lanterns. There's lanterns with Kumakura written on them. Bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a gold. Seven thirty. Yep. Oh gold no! Wait. Bar. Next week, Sunday. I can't stream, so Zillia will be Monday at seven thirty. Seven. Uh, Sunday night. I have to go do a thing. A dragon holding a golden ball. A dragon ball. Shrine. A Shinto shrine. Ubakura crest. Another dragon. Holding up Dragon Ball. Shelves. There are files lined up on the shelf. A window. A chair. A desk. Probably belongs to someone in the gang. There are a ton of things on top. The door to the next room. Lockers are lined up on the wall. Uh. Partition. There's a partition set up by, by the doorway, probably to obscure the view from visitors. Yeah, it's pronounced partition and not partition. Type your medication already? Damn. I also, hey, Master, how you doing? Thanks pronounced. for joining. She likes how partition is pronounced. There's a partition set up by the doorway. Uh, metal door. The entrance. Last month's schedule was written on the board. 21st, Ikakin's beatboxing for beginners. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Permits. Some kind of permit. Uh, member B. Talk to him. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Oh, is he totally knocked out? Uh, the skinny one. He's completely out. Talk to him. I got nothing to say to you. Why not? Why are you so mean to me? The fat one who's holding his stomach in pain. Hey, I have a look. Flying squirrel. Ah! I spilled water. It is clearly a tiger. A tiger rug. Whoopsies. Uh, let's see. More lockers. There's a locker near the window. Company motto, the company philosophy on the wall. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obligated to order a drink. Even if the bartender gives you that order a damn drink look. That's quite the motto. 
That's a stupid motto. A company philosophy is like a summary of the ideals and goals of that company. Company philosophy is written on the wall. Okay, boo. Oh, whoops. That's perma too. I think I talked with everything, so let's talk with boss. Uh, where's the chairman, Moma? <laughs> what? Chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman <laughs> of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Riders of Rohan! You aren't the chairman. Gather! Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Why does my heart keep beating sometimes? Dutton, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. Oh my gosh. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Why? Suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. <gasps> six years. Six years ago. There's some kind of correlation. About Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. Cop. About Denju. I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Something. Date, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? Yes. There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. I tried to examine that, but what it wouldn't let it? me. It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Sofa. Zoom thermo. Someone was sitting here. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. Ashtray. Zoom thermo. Cigarette butts. One of the cigarette butts. The tip is reddish. Hey, Iva. Can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. Oops. Sure. I see. Klein. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Is that it? Yeah, now I can't even examine the stuff anymore. So I guess I gotta talk to you again. The chairman's chair. Uh, was there someone here recently? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Lies and falsehoods. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. Yeah, I was. Know that? I just do. Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go They were home. sitting at their desks. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. I beat another Neither minigame in Yakuza smoke. Zero. Yay, congrats! They left. Who left? <gasps> uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is... Still here. still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? Just wanted to say hello to our guest. Why are I'm you afraid, you you're huh? The only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. You got a warrant or something? They don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. Door. X-ray. 
Just as I thought. Hello, who are you? This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. Made sure to make my, my initials ASS. I, <laughs> I should shoot him. I should shoot him! Oh, wait! <laughs> hmm. Is he not getting enough? Enough what? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. Enough what? I cannot. Iba, what were you trying to say? In this situation. Damn it. Don't shoot me. That they shoot him. What? Now I can see the future? Date, a porno bag at your feet. <laughs> what? Ah! Ah! Wow. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Hey. I have to Did do inputting stuff now? Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Oh, wait a minute. Ah! Where do you shoot up the inside of your office, you idiot? No, I don't want to control anything. Uh. What? What do I have to do? Revolver with explosive rounds. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? Oh, that. Please just auto aim for me. Just do it. Auto aim for me. What? I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Why? Ah! Ah! How do I shoot? How do I shoot? How do I shoot? Oh my gosh, this is so freaking stressful. Oh my gosh. That's extra. <laughs> Save me. Everything happened as I simulated it. Oh my gosh, you were screwed. That I was. So, I'm so glad I had right. my fingers on the controller no so that I was able to push the down button. Whoa! Whoops! Did I mean to have that pop However, up? I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are. And that excited. aiming thing was weird. That was clearly super epic. No, that, that was super stressful. I hate stuff like hell? that. Ah. Oh. Oh my gosh, now I can't relax in any part of the story. You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shoot his Shit. shoulder. Shoot his shoulder! Hey, coward. I see you. Show your face. I have x-ray vision. I know you. The same cigarette. <laughs> ah, my arm. That's shoot. Sejima, so, Congressman. What is this guy doing here? Uh, the part where I got my flu shot is like, uh, getting a bump. Ah, freaking hurts, Moma. Um, about Rohan Kumakura. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, 
What's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. Older brother? He, he looks like your dad. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh... He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You want to know more? Hire a private eye. I have a private eye. Ha 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 ha. Joke, joke, joke. Um... About Shoko. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier when I said I didn't know her. No, I really? So. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoko was organizing. Shock, yeah. gasp. Whenever any wise ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. About Nanju. I've been looking after that guy since high school. What? It was the usual stuff. They knew each other in I high school. Helped me with a lot of work. So Nanju knew now, Moma and kind of the opposite, you know? Iris's mom Hitomi in high school. Him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. Right you ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Uh, do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Mm. Date, I did some research. Everything is a lie. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura oh, members. okay, it's real. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. I don't think it was them. Including There's gotta be someone Mama. else. Uh, Moma. Moma is giving me a glare. That's what you get for beating me up, man! Where's you where's the other one? Ah, curse you. Back there. So uh, what are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was. Oh man, what's up with his mouth movement? Looks so I weird. Had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever ah. conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be. Oh, his mouth is so terrible. It's like, hey, don't spend any effort on him. Because he's if not a big character. Such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. Uh, about Shoko. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. You spin me right round, maybe right round. About Renju. The president of Lemniscate? We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of right an entertainment round, company? Round, round. It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even oh, remember my knees what hurt. we spoke about. Uh, do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi. No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If they you can want lie to, for you. Them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. Of course it can be. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Really? 
Nothing. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. Let's jump into we their need heads. Solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Oh, phone call. Date, a call from Lemniscate. Connected. Date, it's me. Um, you remember like how you said it. Oh, damn it, it's Ulta, not Iris. Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Calling you? Damn it, I'm on my way. Oh, no. Where I know going? it's the receptionist. It's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Heck yeah. Let's go, Iva. Iva doesn't really have a choice. She's stuck inside my eye. It's Sua Sejima, a member of Congress. I see him so often on TV. It feels like I've met him before. Sua is standing here, looking rather irritated. Map, let me escape. This is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. It gotta be somehow involved. I agree. But I don't think they killed the new Cyclops serial killings. Yeah. We need to do further investigation. Mm. Whoa, Iba. Uh, roar like a lion. <laughs> Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? What? So shiny too. You utter idiot. <laughs> it's me. I wanted to roar like a lion. That was just a uh. Mizuki. It's me. <laughs> Boss. Date, seriously. <laughs> then, are you mom? <laughs> you must have increased your dosage too much. Dosage of what? Dosage? Anyway. Of what? What are they monitoring? Why are you here? Looking like that. <laughs> I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you Earlier doing? she said I that I'm not getting enough. This time she's saying reality. there's too much dosage. Who's putting right what in me? Eyes. Is this all a simulation? A Is this real life? Are am I in the matrix? You do realize I do that all the time, right? Am I in a coma? What is up? Something's got to be wrong. Ah, oh, damn it. All the other options are gone. Oh well. Um about your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Also, why are her hands see-through? Oh. I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Like everything else is well, pretty opaque. To to your but then the forearms and the hands are completely see-through. You can see I her skeleton. Not. Why? Not. Is, mm, because I won't. Is that on purpose? Uh, I'm going to have to get used to this look. I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. No, the other form is pretty cute. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. Uh, how is Soul related to the Kumakuras? I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. And yet, they know each See. other. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? No, because they're useless then. Please. What? I'm listening to them? Ah, uh, I was so related to the Kumakuras. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. There is no dose. I think it was just one of the quirky dialogue jokes. Oh. But 20 years that ago, could be right. So Sejima lived elsewhere. 
Did someone say Seoul? In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. I, did someone say Seoul? <laughs> he lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. Damn, that's a lot of money. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. Mm. This caused Kawasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There it has to be plans. After the accident, Sosejima purchased all of the land back for just 1 billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. Something is fishy. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. He got money! That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed, no! Okay. Why are you interrupting me? We'll have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. Akaska! I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Akasaka. There's something that you need to hear. Akasa Tanaha Kamata. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the girl. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. Heck? However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Do you think there's anything to this? That's so random. I don't know. It's like from out of nowhere. Like the spank the horse choice, why would you? Well, it's just there to make the game more amusing than being serious all the time. I'm sure every game this is, especially uh, Jack and Guard 3. Yeah, I do love all the silly dialogue, but I just wish I could choose every single dialogue option just because I want to be able to read it. Dub sounds so bad pronouncing Japanese names. I know. They always stress the second syllable, like Akasaka instead of Akasaka. And like Mizuki instead of Mizuki. And what's other names? Shoko Nadami? Nadami instead of Nadami? It was just, oh, like, please try. <laughs> Most dialogue are coming from other stuff than the about the game. Yeah, a lot of the dialogue I'm reading is just like random side things instead of, you know, progressing the story along. But I think it's still fun to read, like little details that you get to flesh out the world a little bit more. It's nice. Oh, Date. What's Where wrong? Been, punk? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. And you left her Mizuki alone saw to deal with her it. Old mom. And I just... I just left her. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. 
Her last name is different. You still you know, left a 12 year old mother. alone with a corpse. I want to apologize to her. I need <sighs> to tell her that I'm sorry. Hey, it's a receptionist. <laughs> the girl with the big tits is sitting behind the counter. Yeah, that's what I decided to call her. That's her face, of course. Um, thank you for the call. No problem. After all, it means we get to see each other again. <laughs> Oto, I'm what? Glad. Uh, you're cute. <laughs> you get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. <laughs> I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. You're kidding. <laughs> Uh, do you want to get some food sometime? Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? I kinda like that. Oh my gosh. And Walter keeps giving I me dirty like looks. You. Oh, but there is one little thing you What if the killer is the receptionist? I'm a reptilian. Is that going to be a problem? It's a that's reptilian. A reptilian. A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. What? Yeah, that is definitely gonna be a problem. Oh, too bad. What? Where is Iris? She's recording a podcast right now. She's still recording a podcast. It should end soon. How long does it take this girl to record a podcast? Hey, girl with the big tits. Um, excuse me? Shit, I said it to her face. Oh my god. I want to run away and never look back. Oh my god, I said it to her face! <laughs> 36? Big yank! Run, my dude! The reception is the voice of Frankie from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Are you for real? That's Frankie? Holy crap. It does not sound like her. Bold and breeze. The girl with the big tits is sitting behind the counter! Uh, I can't talk to her anymore. Uh, look. It's Ota. Um, about Mizuki. Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah. I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. Oh my gosh. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? Oh my gosh. Uh... About... Wait, where have you been? No, All day. Just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. The reception just sounds like a, a typical Starbucks girl. The new releases. She sounds like and a juros, typical and over to the PC cafe to browse airheaded threads. valley girl. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. About Renju's case. Uh, I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. Uh, why have I never heard of this game? This it wasn't widely, um, advertised, I think. That's what I thought. Get with the receptionist! <laughs> you're my throne. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal, I just... You better start talking. You made clout! Okay. To pretend to be her friend about Ninja's case. Last night I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket and I saw Renju come out of the building. He came out. Is he alone? 
can tell if you're lying. Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. A woman. Um. Yep. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. <laughs> okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. No, you I need think to she stop does. Putting her on a pedestal. For Tessa real. Is a savior to me. Stop putting her Tessa, on a pedestal. I wouldn't hurt anyone. You don't know her. A savior. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. That's and I it. I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She Taylor Swift is an idol. She wouldn't hurt so anyone. There's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. No, I think it's possible. <gasps> Maybe it is Iris because... She was like, oh, let me look around at the crime scene of Shoko's death. And now she came out of Sunfish Pocket with Renju before he died. Um, suspect. Let's bang the receptionist and run. Ew! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Slow down. I didn't say Iris is the murderer. I'm saying Iris is the murderer. Do you suspect but not that day. I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But do it for Iris. Uh, what time did Renju and Iris leave the building? Around six fifteen, I guess. Okay, Where that's super go? early. He died I around see. eight. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket. But I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Who's there? Oh, hello. Date. Why do you have that evil smile on your I need face? To ask you. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Evil smile on her face. Police headquarters. Ooh, we're taking her to the police headquarters. Interrogation time. Iris is just a step ahead of Date on finding the culprit, but failed to catch the culprit, then booked with Iris. And Date I'm arrives. Going to ask you some questions. Oh, that could Please be a possibility. Honestly. Evil smile. She has the face of an angel. Say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth. And I would appreciate your cooperation. Uh, look. Iris looks nervous. It's understandable, of course, after suddenly being taken to a place like this. Uh... Wait, I want to examine everything. A two-way mirror. There's a small room on the other side of the mirror, but you can't see it from here. This room is reflected in the mirror. No, I don't want the mirror again. Uh, a security camera! This interrogation room has two surveillance cameras. This is one of them. The other is installed near the doorway. 
there are pipes on the walls of the room. This is the camera used to record the interrogation. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. It is later saved permanently on our servers. You can remotely control it as well. Hmm. Camera used for interrogation. The lens is facing Iris. And I can't turn around to see boss. Desk! A desk in the middle of the room. Okay, let's talk. Um, you used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. What? Okay. Um, let's see. Is Ota's story true? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. It's a lie. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to oh, Iris no, from it's true. phone. Uh, do you have an alibi for last night? What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iva, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. I think she is a natural liar. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. But Telling Iris you that Iris' voice does true. not match a character. She's Couldn't definitely die. faking being clueless. I, there is another I think so. There's so definitely something more to Iris, Iris than we can see right home, now. She could have killed Renju. Detective Games. Guilty until proven innocent. Mm. Yep. Same thing with Ace Attorney. Oh, wait. I missed that lock. Um, even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. Ooh, how? Um... Can I ask your mother about your alibi? I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Where was yeah. she? Where was she? I don't know. You don't know? Come to think of it. Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. She looked to the left. Hitomi did mention that, that means yesterday. she's trying to remember, or she's lying. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for twenty years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Uh, when did you find out Renju was killed? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? She's hiding I had something. I this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would Ooh. cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Oh, Deus Mort, thanks for the follow. Uh, Jelly, did you used to have... Uh, Neko headphones. I did, but they were hurting my ears because they were so tight. So I'm using these pink ones because they're not as tight and they feel a lot lighter. So I feel like I can play more without getting a headache. Um, I do want to use my uh, orange cat ear headphones again, but maybe when I can find out how to make them less tight. The right is lying. Oh, okay, so left is memory, right is lying. <laughs> Hi! Uh, about the Let's ask about the surveillance camera. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Uh, what were you doing with Renju? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. 
He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were gonna be there. And yet, at night, you didn't show up. Got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because Why? I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Okira. At 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? She's lying. Any contradictions. I think she's lying. However, her story appears almost too organized. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Something fishy about Iris. Am I a suspect? Yes. Sound like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. Because he was drugged. So Whoa, what is this? Iris could have killed Renju because... Yo, this is like freaking, um... Whatchamacallit? Ace Attorney, for real. Renju's autopsy report. Is yesterday, around 8 p.m. Numerous hemorrhages in the heart Oh, no, wait, sedation. That's what I have to strangulation. do. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. Uh, sedation. Look. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepines. That, that just reminds me of the Persona Lady in P4, Elizabeth. This drug is um, in Persona is 4, system. it's Margaret. It is in Persona 3, it's Elizabeth. Was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. Yeah, he does kind of look like them with the light hair and the yellow eyes. Yeah. Show. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? How do you know it's he was hanging? Is That's it? That's true. Oh, damn it, it Renju is. weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. She didn't have right. to haul him up. The beer kicks could have. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Um, this is the... Oil drum? Let's look at oil drum. Whoop. The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. Empty, it weighs Here approximately too. That little bank. pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Iris can strangle me any day of the week. <laughs> um, discovery of Renju's weight. Renju weighs approximately 160 pounds. Well, discovery of Renju's, Renju's body. Renju's corpse was discovered at the Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket. Hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. That's how, is that how she could have gotten him up? Because um, sold approximately 20 liters of he's over the counter. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. 
Yeah, I think it's this because it's over the counter. Or is it where well, Renju was murdered? determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxation upon Ew, death. he pooped! However, no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. Oh. This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where he was found. Okay, so it's not this. It's probably discovery of Renju's body? So... It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? Yes. I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed impossible. 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But, there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. Because she oh. used to work there. I'm gonna double-check the elevator record. Sunfish Pocket is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m., the total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. 310 pounds. Renju was 160, so 310 minus 160 is 150. But then, I think he wasn't oil drums. What's Renju's watch? I know this watch. It's Renju's 150 favorite. pounds. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. That means... Is Iris 150 pounds? No, I think they said she was like 100 something. And then the oil drum, I think, weighs 44 pounds on its own. 40 pound, 44 pounds empty. I think it's the elevator record? show wait uh i 100 percent know who the culprit is the final boss oh my. <laughs> you don't say wait was it not this maybe not that show this could have something to do with it but i need more to support my theory and then elevator maybe no it's not the elevator um Where Renju was murdered? Look at this again. Renju must have been killed somewhere else and brought to Sunfish Pocket. Renju was found hanging from the ceiling. His body was dangling over the counter. Three beer kegs were used as some kind of counterweight. Renju's weight. Uh, Renju's watch? Renju loved to wear this watch. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Maybe this. Because it was in the oil drum. Oh, it's not stopped it. Oh, the clock is still going. I thought the time you know had stopped. Is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. 
I didn't do it. Then you better tell us what you were doing. Witnesses. If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed. You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license. You don't Doesn't need a license to drive, drive a car. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me. Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? Where is this coming from? I see she is around 100. you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Because of elevator record. Okay, then just wait. That isn't enough. I need another clue. Oh my gosh! Oil drum! The oil drum is one of the key clues, but there's something else. Elevator record! Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once. At 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. 105. Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... However what? Dante, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. What's happening? What is she doing? What is she doing?! There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. Look at what? Please just show me! She's fidgeting around. Really? She I can't tell. Under the desk. That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. She's doing Without naughty things. Around? Yes. How would I do that? Um, camera? What is she holding? Ah, uh, shit. What? Oh. My gosh. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Dottie. Well, duh! Sync with her. Oh, we're gonna invade her mind! Iris is experiencing REM sleep. Medication is working perfectly. Oh, man, oh, man. She about to feel her true form. <laughs> can do it. Not a problem. Get it started. Boss, master detective. Mm -hmm. Time limit is six minutes. So before time is up, I know. Planet Namek will blow up in five minutes. Then, let's begin.
These kids are so freaking shady. I want to invade her body and mind. Oh, I don't want to deal do with anything with Iris. She's so stupid and annoying. That they was walking around her and he didn't see what she was doing. For real, it's like, dude, get a clue. Where is this? This is a warehouse. It's an empty warehouse. Did they even bother searching her before the interrogation? I don't think they did. It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Oh man, it's two hours now, but we got to the good part! Somnium scan, activate! Okay, I, I'll do this um exploration thing before I end stream tonight. Menta lock one is the TV. Menta lock two is a window. Menta lock three is the floor. Menta lock four is the doorway. Discover Iris the secret. Sink it in the vein. A mysterious, a mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. You may be able to find the truth. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there are two paths from Mental Lock 1. Uh, let's see. Mental Lock 1 is the TV, so let's just go towards it. A CRT TV. <laughs> Hit it! Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so... It's a mouse. <gasps> ah, this is scary. This is scary. What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. It is I'm scared. not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. There's a gun! Hit the mouse! It's the cops. They know we're going inside, little girls. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Negative timey. You picked up a timey that has some negative effects. Negative timeys can multiply time or force you to use them. If you pick one up, be careful. I wasn't supposed to hit the TV! Oh my gosh, I wasn't supposed to hit the TV. Mental lock 2 was the windows. What is the show? I see many objects in the room. Um... What's the timey? Oh, it makes everything double up? Oh, shoot. Ooh, what should I do? The thing with less time? I don't know what smelling it would do. Investigate the bottle. It's an explosive. What? The explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream, but we must continue. I think I'm royally screwing this up. Blew up a frog. I'm just doing everything terribly! Ah! Did it pick up a- oh, okay, I picked up a positive timey. Um, TV. Mental lock three was the- OPERATING TABLE! Wait, reference book. It appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures. Mm, let's see. Read it. This is a reference book of butterflies and moths. Is it Iris's? Unknown. There is no name written on it. Hey. 
Oh, this is so freaking scary. Oh, what's the TV? Tear and stab it? What? An analog TV. Uh. Um. Investigate, hit, or turn the dial. Might as well fail everything here. Oh my gosh. It is Iris after all. Yeah, true. Uh. I'll hit it again then. Understood. <laughs> what was that? That was creepy. I nearly pissed my pants. I'm too scared. <gasps> Tear and stab it. Wait a minute. Maybe I have to go back to the reference book. A butterfly reference book. Rip it. That will be difficult with it being this thick. That is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. Ooh. Um, Mantala, should I go for everything? I don't think I could go for everything. Um, let me check the doors. <laughs> Double door. Uh, tackle it. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Stop that. You're not helping. Oh, this, this isn't scary, you coward. You try doing this yourself. I think I need operating table. An operating table. Sleep! <laughs> Investigate. Investigate. The fabric on the surface is frayed. It appears to be in use despite its age. They did surgery here? Surgery or worse. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Locker? Just a locker. What? Um. That makes everything 40 seconds. I want to open it. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. What the Delta Princess? Trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. Okay, um... I have less time, so what I'm going to do is... Which point would you like to restart from? Um, I think I started... Doing a lot of exploration, starting from... Lock 1. Hand me the controller. <laughs> Um, I'll do here. Return to this checkpoint, yes. Okay, so I hit the mouse, and then... I had to do medicine shelf, and I have to blow up the frog. I see many objects in the room. Investigate the bottle. Explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream. 
but we must continue. Okay, and then I have to, um... I think I just have to wreck all the TVs in here. And then I sh should tear the reference book and I sh then the lockers appear and a knife comes out. I think that's what I have to do. It appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures. We have to rip it. That will be difficult with it being this thick. Okay, so it was a rat, a frog, a butterfly. Basically everything being experimented on. Oh, I found the sweet potato that I dropped. <laughs> Does that mean Iris had plastic surgery on her? I suppose that is. Because there's an operating table here. The more you do, oh my gosh. the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. Mm. Locker. Just a locker. Uh, it was open, right? Yeah, open. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. Why was it booby trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. Three minutes, Date. Knife. The knife that flew out of the locker. Um, should I throw it or push it in? She said, where- wait, tear it. Where would I throw it to? Seppuku? Oh my gosh, for real, should I? Should I seppuku or throw? Because those are my two options that I'm leaning towards. Seppuku or throw. You know, what, I'm just gonna go with Sepuku. Do you wish for me to die? No, I do not. But why must I commit Sepuku? In this foreign land, I believed it to be the only course of action. I refuse. Do you wish to speak a haiku in your final breath? Your samurai impression is ridiculous and inaccurate. Stop that! Is this Somnium starting to get to you, Date? I'm my usual self. That's the problem. But in any case, I will not do it. Ah, she won't do it! Do it, you coward. Okay, um... The knife that flew out of the locker. You know what? I'm gonna try pushing it in. Because maybe that'll get the door to open. Time of Lappy? No, I want it. Cannot be pushed in any further. Okay, so I think it's throw. Damn it! You have less than the two minutes, that flew out of the locker. Throw it. Like this? If it hits a TV. What? Ah, damn it! It was throw. I only threw it lightly. Oil drum, television, and torso. I think I understand. I'm starting to see the picture. I do not yet understand it. Tore the butterfly. And stab the bird. Shoot and kill. Now I have to go to the gun. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Look <laughs> down the barrel! <gasps> um, let's shoot it. Have I not been using my timies? I don't see any bullets inside. 
just try it. Oh shoot. All right, I'll give it a shot. I think I could have had way more time left. As I thought, this will not work. I wasn't using my timies. I'm a fool. Oh my gosh. Um, I have to shoot and kill. There's no bullets. A revolver. What if I take it? Uh, I wasn't using my timies the whole time. Oh my gosh. It is fixed with a vice and cannot move. Can you loosen it? Impossible. Is there some kind of meaning to it? Can I retry from the beginning? Oh shoot. Um. Now let's just keep going. I have to shoot it. Let's look down the barrel. A revolver. Uh, look down the barrel. I didn't use the tiny. Why not bring your face closer? Hmm. Bang! Oh my gosh! No, I cannot see anything. Oh, did you say something? What is that on your hands? I didn't think. Oh, right that. here? It's my, um, otter. I'm sorry? I'm sorry too. Can I retry this from like the very beginning? Re I'm gonna retry the Somnium over because I realized I wasn't using my timies. Freaking lame. I thought you just had to hover over it and then it would use it, but it's not the case. You actually have to click use. I skip what this. is this place? Skip! Still gotta do everything the same, it's just um I'm actually gonna use my time use now. Better be John! A CRTT Uh Hit it. Fix it. I've hit the mouse. Okay, um, that I had to do 30 seconds because, uh, I got the death mark. That is the show. Many objects in the room. <sighs> this one I can't help but uh, investigate the bottle. Okay, now I have positive timies. Oh, the frog. And then I had to rip the book. It uh, use it, <laughs> rip. Okay, and then I had to throw a knife. So locker, locker. Um, use it. Open. And then. With the knife, I have to throw it. Use it. Throw. There we go. Now I should have loads of time left. Um. Okay. Now I can examine everything else. Operating table, it was still being used. Uh. What's this gas canister? A common gas canister. Kick open the valve smell. Let's go back for now, because that had um shoot and kill. You have to figure out why there's nothing inside the gun. A full body mirror. Let's punch it! <laughs> I didn't use the timing! Sure break this mirror. No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? 
Why would you just Why does that make you a pervert? I'm not a pervert. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Then what else can I do with a the mirror? Full body mirror. Talk? How about we look into the mirror? I see my reflection. Really? What could this mean? Your reflection should be the figure I'm thinking of. So, what is your true form? Whatever you imagine. My appearance is nothing but a vessel. So your spirit is your true form. Shoot and kill. Oil jump? Oil jump torso. Gone TV. Let's look at the torso. A naked torso. Choke punch talk! Um choke it because that's what happened to um what's his face body? Nenju's body. I would rather not. I know, but please try. Because the torso's here and the oil drum is there. Nothing happened. Why is it shoot and Three kill? Minutes, oil, An drum. oil drum. Look inside, take the lid off, kick. Um. Let's take the lid off. Right? Should we look inside? I think we should look inside. Go to where the gun is pointing. I did examine the gun all three times before and nothing happens. Oh my gosh! What does this mean? Bullets! They might be used for something. Let's keep them. Yes, they're used for guns! Now I can go to the gun and load it. Shoot and kill. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Um But it's empty. What if we shoot it? Can we use the bullets we found earlier? This could work. I'll try shooting it. Yep, shoot and kill it. Shoot and kill the cat. That's the congressman. Why did she see the congressman? The heck? Choking something you do when you eat too much strangle is when you slowly squeeze the life out of someone using hands. Ah. Th that's not creepy at all. I know, right? Not creepy. That cat was innocent. All those animals were innocent. Day 3 Sunday. Rihai. What happened during that Somnium? We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused not as you are. Not the butterfly. Are. The butterfly killed well, its brother. <laughs> apart from the reflection, it is not so strange. 
dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. Wait, it's a female body that with the head of the. Iris, she must with have the head of the. Sejima somewhere. Congressman. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. You can't use the word smooch. <laughs> Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right, because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. We were silent for a time. While I was deep in my thoughts, I heard Peter speak. Date, Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed to the sink room next door. Oh, my back is really starting to hurt. Oh, putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Okay, we are going to save this here. That was a lot. That was interesting. Whoo! You take your meds? I did. Um, one thing I do want to check. Uh, I want to check my flow chart. See where what I'm doing, how far I am. Okay. Day three Sunday Gumai. Be high. Zoom in. Ooh. Day two Saturday Keitai or Meikai. Oh. Oh, so the different mental lock I uh, open. When I first go into the Somnium, that's how the flow chart happens. Because in this one, I went for opening the birdcage that had the ripped photo, which goes this way. This one is if I open the cage with the balloons. And then this one, this path is killing all the animals. And then this path is, I have no idea. But this line is red. So maybe this is highlighting the route I'm currently taking. And then green and blue are other possibilities I can go to. Oh man, this is so... Ooh, it's... That was creepy. Now things are starting to get really interesting. Is there actually diverting paths? Yeah, I guess so. And then depending on how you decide to solve the cases in the Somnium, maybe that's how that leads your investigation in a certain direction, emotion, route, manner. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. But anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here because I've been streaming for like two and a half hours now and my back hurts a lot. So um, next week I'm streaming Monday, Wednesday, Thursday again because Sunday I won't be able to stream. Uh, Monday will be Tales of Zillia. Wednesday, Thursday will be uh, AI Som I Somnia Files again. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. Night web. Bye.